Hello my dear students, welcome back. Today we will start with the same lesson inside our earth but with the another topic that is rocks and minerals. Children in the last lecture we have studied about the layers of the earth. That is our earth is made up of different layers, crust, metal and coal. Children, if this topmost layer of the earth was not formed, the life would not have been possible. Because of this crust, life is possible on the earth. So children think what this crust is made up of which is bearing the pressure of such high landforms, major domains and such a very huge population. So children in this lesson we are going to study what is this earth crust made up of. So the earth crust is made up of different types of rocks. Any natural mass of mineral that matters make the earth crust are called rocks. Now rocks are of different size, shape and color. Now children why we use the word natural mass of mineral? Because when we studied about the crust, we studied about the oceanic crust and the continental crust. Continental crust was made up of two aluminiums, silica and alumina together which was called CR and the oceanic crust was made up of silica and magnesium. The combination of two was called SEMA. So why we use the term natural mass of mineral? Because the rocks which form are containing the minerals because these minerals are there in the rocks and so they are the natural mass of minerals. So children, now let us study about the rocks and minerals. First we will study about the rocks. Now the rocks are of three types. First one is igneous rocks. Second one sedimentary rocks. And third one is metamorphic rocks. Now let us study about one by one in detail. Let us study about first the igneous rocks. Now the word igneous, the word igneous has been derived from the Latin word igneous. What do you mean by igneous? Igneous means fire. So the rocks are formed by the fire. So let us study about how the rocks are formed with the fire. Now children, when our earth get ruptured, the hot molten, the hot molten magma which comes out from the inner core of the earth, which comes out from the inner core of the earth to the surface of the earth. This is the wind and the magma, the hot molten magma which comes out to the surface of the earth, it is called lava it is called lava and when this lava cools down gradually the rocks thus form are called igneous are called igneous rocks now this lava as it comes in contact with the cool air it gradually cools down and the rocks thus form are called igneous rocks but sometimes what happens children the molten magma while coming from the wind to the earth surface some of the magma remains there in the earth crust and it cools down there. So the igneous rocks are of two types intrusive and extrusive rocks. So what are intrusive rocks? The rocks which are formed under the earth crust. So this molten magma which cools down in the earth crust and the rocks thus form are called extrusive rocks. And the magma which comes out which is called lava and when it cools down they are called intrusive rocks. Intrusive rocks means the rocks which are formed out on the surface of the earth. Now children, igneous rocks are also called the primary rocks. This because these are the rocks which are formed first. So they are also called the primary rocks. Now children, you can take the example of the 
basalt rock okay now these basalt rocks our whole we you have studied about the physical features of india the deccan plateau of india is totally made up of the basalt rock okay children so this is the example of the igneous rocks so we have studied about the igneous rocks igneous is the word which is the which is derived from the latin word ignis which is which means fire and the hot molten magma which comes on the earth's surface and gradually it cools down thus the igneous rocks are formed and igneous rocks are of two types extrusive igneous rocks and intrusive igneous rocks okay children now let us move towards the another type of the rocks that is sedimentary rocks okay so now let us move towards the another type of rock that is sedimentary rock now children the word sedimentary has derived from the latin word sedimentum what do you mean by sedimentum sedimentum means to settle down settle down now the igneous rocks we have studied about the igneous rocks now these igneous rocks which are formed when the lava cools down when these igneous rocks by the action of wind and water when these rocks roll down and when while rolling they heat on each other and they are broken down into smaller fragments or smaller particles by the they are by the action of wind and water and they are brought down they are settled down by wind and they are transported down by the wind and water to the surface of the earth thus forming the different layers and the layers thus form are called sedimentary rocks are called sedimentary rocks so what are sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks are the small sediments which roll down the the small sediments of igneous rocks which roll down by the action of wind and water and again they are transported down by the wind and water to the surface of the earth to the surface of the earth thus forming the different layers and the layers thus form are called sedimentary rocks now children thus when they just come down to the earth surface the rocks are formed no when they roll down to the earth when these small fragments roll down they heat on they heat each other and they are they form the different layers and they are compressed and gradually they get hardened down and thus the sedimentary rocks are formed now children you know we get fossils also you have heard the word fossils we get fossils also from the plants the remains of plants and animals the plants and the animals which were there on, once upon once when they were on this layer they get trapped when they die they get trapped below these layers and thus the fossils were formed and so the fossils like coal and petroleum we get from this sedimentary rocks okay and these fossils are we have studied in the class peep the uses of the fossil fuels okay children so now this is about the sedimentary rocks now let us move towards the another type of rock that is metamorphic rock let us study the third type that is the metamorphic rock now the word metamorphic has derived from the greek word meta mor metamorphosis morphis which means to which means change in form a change in form means totally the rock changes its form now children we have studied about the igneous rocks the igneous rocks when these hot molten here in mantle we have molten magma when these magma this is the layer below the earth crust and when these hot molten magma comes out to the earth 
surface in the form of lava it cools down and thus form the igneous rocks now these igneous rocks when they roll down they get heat with each other and they are broken down into small fragments small sediments and when these sediments are transported to the surface of the earth by wind and water by the action of wind and water when they are brought down to the earth surface different layers of rocks are formed thus forming the sedimentary rocks then we children now these sedimentary rocks and igneous rocks are formed on the earth surface but below the earth surface the layer which we have is the mantle and in mantle we have the hot molten magma so continuous they are giving heat to this rocks so children what happened when these sedimentary rocks when they get the heat from the down and pressure from the earth the rock which is formed this rocks change its form and thus metamorphic rocks the rocks which are formed are called metamorphic rocks understood children for example i will give you the example of a chapati now for example when we have to make a chapati we have to first take the wheat flour we have to put the water and we have to first give the pressure to make a dough okay children so pressure is given and after pressure your mother immediately directly gives you to eat the chapati no she cooks she uh, first of all she does the round ball after giving the pressure she makes the dough then she prepares the chapati and then she puts on the tawa and what she gives she gives the heat from down yes or no children and when that chapati gets the heat from the down it changes its form so from the simple dough the chapati is prepared means that flour has changed that wheat flour has changed its form in the chapati this way these sedimentary rocks when they get the heat because here there is hot molten magma it gives the heat it is continuously in the form of fire it gives the heat and the pressure from the upside the rocks thus form are called metamorphic rocks so this is the last and the third time the uh, third type of the rocks the first one was the igneous rocks the word igneous means the fire and the rocks which are formed by the hot molten magma which comes out in the form of lava and when that lava cools down igneous the rocks thus form are called igneous rocks then we have studied about the igneous the types of igneous rocks extrusive igneous rocks and intrusive the rocks which are formed on the surface of the earth are called extrusive igneous rocks and the example was i have gave you the example of basalt rocks and the intrusive the hot molten magma which cools down in the earth crust which slowly gradually cools down and the rocks thus form are called the intrusive rocks and the example the best example of the intrusive rock was the granite okay children you know granite because granite is used for flooring and all yes or no children flooring then for the kitchen platform and all we use the granite now the second form which we study was the sedimentary rock then the sediments when the igneous rock gets heat and when it rolls down and when it gets uh, into the it gets cut into the different small sediments it by the by the action of wind and water it comes to the surface of the earth thus forming the layers and these layers thus form when these rocks get compressed and hardened thus the sedimentary rocks are formed then the for we have studied about the fossils which are found in the sedimentary rocks and the last one was the metamorphic rock how the metamorphic rock means the change in the form means when igneous rocks when metamorphic rock means change in the form that is when igneous rocks get change into sedimentary rocks and when these sedimentary rocks change its form and they become the
metamorphic rocks by the hard heat and metamorphic rocks okay children so this is about the types of rocks okay let us move towards the rock cycle let us see what is rock cycle what is rock cycle rock cycle is the transformation of rock from one form to another now children we have studied about the types now we studied how the igneous see here children first of all let us see the hot molten magma it changes to the igneous rocks again this igneous when this hot molten magma cools down igneous rocks are formed when these igneous rocks are broken into small sediments and they are transported by wind and water thus forming the sedimentary rocks when they are transported to the earth surface the layers they form they are compressed and hardened and thus form the sedimentary rocks so this igneous rocks change its form to the sedimentary rocks again because of the heat because of the heat and pressure because of the heat and pressure these sedimentary rocks again change its form to the metamorphic rock now children when these these sedimentary rocks here we have hot molten magma here when these rocks when they continuously they get the heat when they continuously get the heat some of the metamorphic rocks again turn into the hot molten magma again they come to the earth surface in the form of lava and when it cools down again the igneous again they turn to uh, they turn to the hot magma and then again the igneous rocks are formed so this is the rock cycle okay children so continuously cycle means what the part when we start from cycle means when we start from one point again we reach the same point so rock cycle is also same we start from the hot molten magma it changes the rock changes the lava changes its shape its form and again it reaches to the hot magma so this is about the rock cycle now let us study about the minerals actually occurring substances which have the definite physical properties and the chemical composition now children the rocks which are formed have the mineral composition in that the rocks see children the rocks the when we the rock the lava which comes out from the earth crust and when we studied about the layers we have studied about we have studied that the different layers of the earth have different minerals so when the rocks are formed the rocks are formed with the minerals having the definite physical properties and chemical compositions so children minerals are very important for us we use the minerals in our daily life yes or no children for example coal petrol petroleum products and also the minerals are very important for the industries also because without minerals there would not be the economic development of the country and we are very lucky that our india is a country which have rich mineral deposits the economic development of the country minerals are very important and children you know the uses of minerals you have studied everything in detail uh, in science subject about the minerals now children rocks we have studied about the rocks now rocks are also very useful to us so the last point which we have to cover is the uses of rocks now children when we studied about the igneous rocks igneous rocks when we studied about the igneous rocks the two examples of introsine and extrusive were basalt rocks and granite okay so you know that these rocks are used for construction of the buildings construction of the uh, roads and granite is used for the different purposes for example flooring then the kitchen for the kitchen platform and all i gave you this example okay then sedimentary rocks the sedimentary rocks the example of this best example of the sedimentary rock is sandstone okay sandstone 
sandstone is the best example of the sedimentary rock and the last one is the metamorphic rock now metamorphic rock in these the rocks change its completely its position i gave you the example of the peat floor when it is it changes complete form into the form of chapati same way here we can give the example of the clay the clay when it changes it it is when the clay is changed into the form of slate and limestone in the form of into the marble and you know children the marble the use of the slate and the marble so by giving this example i think you have understood what are the uses of rocks where the rocks are used so children in our day to day life we as how we use our natural resources same way rocks are also our natural resources and they are very useful to us so this way i have completed my lesson children read the lesson thoroughly and try to understand the concept thank you